In our next example, we are going to be looking at the provision for doubtful debts under Section 11J. So, X Limited has a 31 December year end. X Limited started trading during the 20X 8 year of assessment and it claimed a Section 11J allowance of 150,000 rands in that assessed year. Now, that is the prior year amount, guys. That must be added back to your income. During the 20X 9 year of assessment, X Limited calculated an impairment loss in terms of IFRS 9. Okay, so they are, uh, are applying IFRS 9. And that the total loss that they claimed in the financial statements of 500,000 rands. And this is determined as 300,000 rands, which is determined over 12 months, and 200,000 rands, which is over the lifetime. So the lifetime amount is times 40%, and the normal is times 25%. So 300,000 times 25, 200,000 times 40%. That gives us our total allowance for the next year, for this year. Example 2. AP2Y Limited is a small company that sells building supplies directly to the public. It has a sole shareholder. The accounting records are kept by the shareholder's grandson who has a diploma in bookkeeping. As such, it does not comply with IFRS. AP2Y Limited gives its customers two weeks to settle their accounts. Unfortunately, AP2Y Limited often has bad debts and debts that take a long time to settle their accounts. The bookkeeper has compiled a list of debtors who are in arrears as follows. Based on the list, the bookkeeper has made a provision for doubtful debts. Isn't he clever? For 112,000 rand. So he's taken that amount and that is his provision for doubtful debts. In the previous year of assessment, SARS allowed a Section 11J allowance of 12,000 rands. Okay, so this is the previous year. This amount will be added back. What are the implications for the current year of assessment? So first thing is, Days which are 60 days or more in arrears, those two days over there, the 30 and the 60, we will do that at 25%. And everything which is 120 days or more will be 40%. So the ones which are 30 days in arrears, we don't do anything with. There you go. And that gives us our deduction.